It's been two hours since we first opened our bottles from the freezer. So, bottle number one, which is the one that we left out in the kitchen, I've already had to empty back in because this one pretty much turned to slush. Bottle number two, so this is the one that was in the fridge. We've got a good block of ice in here. It's still defrosting. You can still see there's still some liquid coming in there, but you'll see most of the ice, look, is still in the bottle. And we've got a good amount of um, liquid. I'm hoping this is high alcohol in our bowl here. And the last one, this is the one that was in the freezer. This is the one that's looking most promising. This is just ice. So absolutely lovely. And in the bowl, we've got, again, a good amount of a liquid, which is what we're hoping to be high alcohol. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to test this with our hydrometer, our spirit hydrometer, to check out what the alcohol content is gonna be. Trouble is, this liquid needs to be at 20 degrees Celsius to get an accurate reading with the hydrometer. And I can tell you, these are bloody calm. So, I'm gonna let them warm up and then we'll take a measurement with our hydrometer to see, basically, we know that one's no good, but which out of these two is gonna give us the highest amount of alcohol. It's taken a little bit of time for our uh, samples to warm up. So in that time, our bottle number one that we originally turned to slush, I put back in the freezer, let it refreeze and I've distilled it again in the freezer. So we've got uh, this one, which was done in the fridge, this one, which is done in the freezer, and this one, which was also redone in the freezer. So what we said we were gonna do is we're gonna pour our sample. So this is the higher alcoholy bit, hopefully. So that goes into our trial jar. And we take our spirit hydrometer. We're gonna lower that in. We're gonna see what it's gonna do. Okay. That's not doing as I had expected. So, I know when I put this into the freezer to freeze, the alcohol content in this liquid combined was about 15% ABV. So we've frozen it and we've allowed a liquid to come out of the substance and the majority that was left in here was ice. So presumably what came into this bottle or into the bowl was alcohol because alcohol freezes at a much lower temperature than water. However, our hydrometer reading, James, come on and have a really good look at this. I don't know if you can see guys, is actually showing with the spirit hydrometer that is reading zero. So, hmm, stay there, James. Da, 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 da. I suppose I'm gonna do something. Wouldn't recommend you do this, but. It's definitely more alcoholic than that is reading. You can smell the alcohol in there. It's not pleasant, um, but there is a burniness in the back of the mouth. So it is saying to me that there is something in this liquid that is causing it to be more dense than just alcohol. And I'll confirm that now. Let's pour that back in. So I've got a, another little gadget for testing the alcohol content. So uh, it looks like a little bit of a, a pipette. Um, and the way this little thing works is we fill up this little reservoir at the top. Oh, that was a bit much but it will start dripping out the bottom in a moment. There we go. It's a very, very thin tube all the way down through here. So once it starts dripping through properly, we then put our finger over the end, turn it upside down. This is gonna be quite difficult to read. There's a little tube and what happens once you let the alcohol run out, 
it suddenly starts dropping down through the tube and the liquid will stop and you'll end up with a little air bubble at about where the ABV is. So that's coming out at about, showing here, about 20, 22, 23%, which from what I've just tasted, would probably be about right. So something weird's going on with the hydrometer in here. Perhaps there's something else in this liquid that's creating it to be more viscous. Okay, let's try sample number two. So sample number two, this is the one we froze in the freezer and then defrosted in the freezer. Okay, come on and have a look at this, James. Because this one's doing something very, very similar. This one's also floating only just above the 0%, um, which is again showing me that it's, there's got to be something in this liquid that's preventing to get a, a proper hydrometer reading. Oh, now that actually has a lot more alcohol hit than that straight on the nose. Again, there's more of a burning sensation. Um, more like you would get from uh, something like 35, 40% whiskey. I wonder if we're gonna get anything out of here if we try it with this little baby. So let's turn him over. Come on, it's taking its time. There it goes. Whee. So this only gives us an indication of the reading. It's not amazingly accurate. And this one's going up even higher as well. So this one's off the scale. So we're not gonna get a really good result from, from this because this only goes up to about 25% ABV. So we know this one's stronger because I can taste that it's stronger, but unfortunately um, the ABV isn't showing us on the hydrometer. So let's pour this back in. So in this brown bottle is something I distilled previously. I've double distilled this using the air still. And just to give you an idea, if I drop the hydrometer into this one, well, you'll see it drops right, right, right down. And this is coming about 74, 75%. Now I'm not going to, but I can tell you I have tried this. It's bloody strong. If you've ever had Ray and Nephew's overproof rum, it's pretty much on the same scale as, oh, wax your head off. Um, I know that that is nowhere near the level of this. So therefore, I'm coming out with a conclusion already. But I'm gonna try this last one, so this again was, this was the original bottle that we'd left out on the side and it just turned to slush. So I basically, ooh, a bit too much in there. I refroze it and I allowed it to distill again in the freezer. And this is the liquid that came out. And again, <laughs> it's really, really, really frustrating that the spirit hydrometer doesn't work in these because there is obviously something else in this liquid that's making it too viscous to get a good reading with the hydrometer. Um, I know from tasting this one, I know I can smell these two here are gonna be about the similar sort of percentage alcohol. Um, unfortunately, this is the bad conclusion then, that using a freezer to distill our sugar wash, I don't think is gonna give us a high enough percentage of alcohol 
in our finished liquid to be able to kill any germs, viruses and things like that. So unfortunately, this was an experiment and the experiment is, sorry, you can't do it with a freezer. You can do it with something like an air still or a still where you can actually distill off and get pure, pretty much high strength alcohol out of it. As you saw, we can get 75% out of this little air still. Um, or your alternative is to go and find somewhere that has isopropyl alcohol, which is 99.9% .9 alcohol. And then you can add a couple of things to that and uh, like some glycerin or some aloe vera gel and bit of um, perhaps some lavender oil or something along those lines to, to make it nicer. But unfortunately, the freezer method isn't gonna work. So, what am I gonna do with this? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna put this all back together, I'm gonna pop this in the still, and I'm gonna distill it off in the air still and make some high strength alcohol so that we can use that as hand sanitizer um, rather than just waste all this. So, Sorry guys, poor conclusion, or good conclusion, poor result. So, sorry.